I grew up in really rural Indiana. My sister and I used to ride our ponies to the library. We'd fill up the saddlebags with books and then read up in the hayloft of the barn behind our house. I read Nancy Drew and Sherlock Holmes and then Hercule Poirot and Miss Marple. I loved all the golden age mysteries. That's when I fell in love with storytelling. I wanted to be Nancy Drew. I've been a television reporter for such a long time. I've won 34 Emmys for investigative reporting. And every one of those Emmys represents a secret that someone didn't want you to know, that I got to uncover and make public and reveal. In my books, everyone has a secret. And the question is, when will they reveal it? Why would they reveal it? What will happen when they reveal it? And what will happen after that? My books are not my television stories made into fiction. My books are a little bit of this experience and a little bit of that experience put together those puzzle pieces in a brand new puzzle picture. When I write a character, I become that character. In my chair, in that manuscript, I allow myself to become someone else. And that is the magic. One of the hardest parts for me about writing is coming up with that central gem of the core of the idea of the book. What is my book going to be that's unique and surprising? That's hard for me. You can't make yourself have a good idea. I kind of trust the universe to provide the idea that I need at the time that I need it. And that's how every one of my books has started. I love domestic suspense and psychological suspense. I love narrative nonfiction. I'm reading Bad Blood by John Kerry Rue about the Theranos scandal and Radium Girls by Kate Moore about the girls who painted the radium dials on watches. My husband is a criminal defense attorney. He'll tell me what a judge would say or what the law is or how the system would work. Jungle Reds is a wonderful blog of seven women mystery authors. We've been together for 10 years. We live all over the country, everyone from Reese Bowen to Julia Spencer Fleming to Jen McKinley to Deborah Crombie. Every morning we get to chat and share what we're thinking with the world. Now, I've never been involved in such a long-term, loving, supportive group of writers. My goal in life, I try to be the best writer I can possibly be and then be better the next day and better the next day and that's part of the joy.